is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Derby, centre of British Rail research. Here in this four million pound technical centre, British Rail concentrates all its design, research and development work. A new extension has just been opened by the Minister of Transport and we had a look at some of the work going on. This is a test rig to study hunting, the swaying that affects rolling stock at certain speeds. At Derby, they design out this hunting effect to ensure smooth running. In this case, they're working on a rail wagon for high-speed liner trains. What about the future? This is a model of British Rail's transport of tomorrow, a passenger train that will lean on the curves as it belts along at up to 150 miles an hour. It may be in service in five years' time. Powered by aircraft engines, it'll do London to Newcastle in two and a half hours. We've also been looking at marine research. The ship division of the National Physical Laboratory have built a circulating water tank that allows the study of water flow around a ship's hull. The conventional tank where a model is towed through the water has disadvantages and the duration of the test is restricted by the length of the tank. By circulating the water through a glass-walled working section, they can conduct tests for an unlimited time with no visibility problems. This new tank at Feltham near London is the largest of its kind ever built in Europe. Top security at London's Festival Hall before the unveiling of one of Britain's most closely guarded industrial secrets. The chairman of Cunard's was to reveal for the first time a model of the Q4. Although work is well underway on Clydebank, this is our first view of its final appearance. First impression is of clean, sweeping grace. The new Cunarder makes no attempt to conceal her ancestry. A single funnel is in the traditional place, but the aerofoil shape was designed after wind tunnel tests. Fumes from the kitchens are released through the mast. Swimming pools, sheltered by the superstructure. Her interior layout will remain a secret till after she's launched in September, but she certainly looks like being a worthy successor. Signor Lanza Vecchia is an old co-